Well, there's more news on the Square Enix situation over Sony. I, I spoke about the exclusivity that Sony used to have with Square Enix. They've now pulled that plug, but it seems Sony's such a sinking ship that Square Enix is going to be solely affected by it because they're now allow announcing layoffs. Well, I really gotta say, if everything did so well on Sony for such a big company for AAA games, they wouldn't be laying off, they would be celebrating the amount that they sold in sales. But we already saw that Final Fantasy VII, the sales completely collapsed, especially in Japan. There was 90%, they said, no, we're done, we're done buying the game, and there is no lasting effect from it. Maybe they can revigorate this if they can get it onto PC sooner, but I'm guessing the contract with Sony, that's never going to happen. Square Enix confirms US, Europe layoffs as part of restructuring, as part of the, the losses that they took. Before we get fully into the video, do me a favor or do yourself a favor and subscribe to the channel today. I've been covering a lot of stuff going on here on this channel, a lot of certain things, especially with the Sony debacle that we're seeing in the marketplace right now where the exclusivity for Sony games is pretty much over and the PC gamers are winning on every front for that. Publishing it and Square Enix collective indie games labels are affected. Ooh, that's that's a not a good thing. Uh, Square Enix is set to make unconfirmed number of layoffs as part of an ongoing company restructuring. It told staff in an internal meeting on Monday. According to the people who were in attendance, Square Enix president Takashi Kairu said that the that both the company's American and European arms would be hit with layoffs, which happens to be over the course of the next month. Just after Q1, these layoffs are going to be massive. I wouldn't be surprised if we see certain offices close at this point. The scale of the layoffs wasn't shared, but staff were told that people working in publishing, IT, and Square Enix Collective Indie Game Division would be prominently affected. The indie game, so anyone on the old school stuff going forward. I wonder what this means for the third rendition of Final Fantasy VII, the third part of it. Does this mean that the PlayStation 6 or the PlayStation 5 Pro won't be part of the new one? It'll be interesting. Those impacted will be informed this week, staff were told. In the UK, employees will enter into a one-month con consultative period as per employment local employment law, while US-based staff could leave their roles before June. Probably with some severance, I'm guessing, on top of that, but that's not anything unheard of at this point. Following the internal meetings on Monday, many of Square Enix's main Slack channels were locked. Ooh. You come into work, you come into work, you try and log into your Teams or your Slack channels where you can communicate, and it's locked and you're like, uh oh, what is going on here? That That's a bad sign. When they lock down internal IT just to blanket it. I, you know, this reminds me of the story of what happened with Blizzard when they announced some layoffs and people would come in through the door and they'd say, you go to that door, you go to that door. And you wouldn't know which one was the good door and which one wasn't the bad door. And this kind of sounds similar to what's going on there. The layoffs coincided with the publication of the company's quarterly fi financial results today in which Square Enix said it plans to rebuild overseas division, uh, business division from the ground up and has begun optimizing costs at its European and American offices via structural reforms. Wow, that that's a, that's a lot going on. Like, this is where we are today. Sony, by pushing the exclusivity on their, on their PlayStation, it has backfired drastically. And now it looks like Square Enix is taking the brunt of that. This, anyone else that's uh, exclusive to it, you know, you got to be wondering. Uh, I got to wonder how long Intel Stellar Blade actually makes it way to PC because it's exclusive to PlayStation right now. But we know, we know there was at one point a PC version of the game that got taken away from Steam and PC users. 
So it's going to be a matter of time. So this part is from Game Developer. Uh, they've got a bit of quotes here. The timing of these layoffs coincides with today's news that the company is making major changes to how it operates. Those, those changes follow major drops in year-over-year -year operating income after canceling several in-development projects. Going forward, the company will be downplaying exclusive releases in favor of multi-platform form titles planning possible mergers and acquisitions and rebuilding it overseas uh, outside japan operations from the ground up them going multi-platform is a huge win for square enix and it's going to be a giant win for gamers that just love the final fantasy genre or anything to do with that Thankfully, Square Enix has said, no more exclusivity. No, we cannot afford to continue to do that. You know, maybe they need to go back to the days of where what they did with Tekken, where Xbox, Nintendo, and Sony each had an exclusive character in their game, depending on what platform you were on, but the game was available on all platforms. Maybe that's what they need to do, is something extra for skins. If you play on one, one console, maybe that'll draw a couple people in, but I honestly don't see it. Right now, the PlayStation 5, I was talking with someone earlier about this, I believe the PlayStation 5 is extremely overpriced for a console, and that has been one of the downfalls right now for the PlayStation 5. That price point needs to come down $399 or lower, uh, and that's USD. Right now at $499, it just makes it out of reach, especially when you can sit there and buy a mini PC that's going to do the same thing. Uh, ultimately, just PC games and not the exclusive Sony games. There, Sony really does think that their that they're brand brings in that much more that they can charge extra and make the and hold the iron fist of games above everyone else and they can't they can't unfortunately square enix here is now reaping the repercussions of what sony promised in their exclusivity and that was layoffs down the line anyway thanks for watching i'm proud canadian phoenix cinder shadow i'm signing off here have yourselves a great day and i will see you again very soon